Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to take a look at the new Throne of Eldraine theme boosters. So we've got one in each color here, white, blue, black, red, and green. And with me to do the pack, blessings if required, is the Ginger Brute. So I can't remember when we did these for Corset 2020, if they were random packs or if they're fixed. So let's set him aside. In case he's needed, we'll bring him back and let's get stuck into it. So what are these all about? Includes 35 cards, white theme booster. Choose your color, so enhance your white deck with 35 cards from Throne of Eldraine, including at least one rare or mythic rare card. And you can add 25 lands to start building a 60 card deck. And I guess you could also combine these together if you wanted to have multicolored decks. So let's crack it open, check it out. Okay, so interesting packaging. Sealed pack. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we're going to zip through the commons and stuff and pay more attention to the rares. Okay, starting off with Flutter Fox, Glass Casket, Ardenvale Paladin, True Love's Kiss, Outflank, Sir Alan the Lion's Claw, Lockthrain Gargoyle, Fairy Guide Mother, Prized Griffin, Silver Flame Ritual, Prophet of the Peak, Bartered Cow, and an Inquisitive Puppet! Trapped in the Tower, Fairy Guide Mother again. Okay, so we're getting uh, some repeats here. Silver Flame Squire, Mysterious Pathlighter, Ardenvale Tactician, Lonesome Unicorn, Roving Keep, Rally for the Throne, Idyllic Grange, Youthful Knight, Scolding Cauldron, Shining Armor, and that would be pretty good in foil, I bet. Ardenvale Paladin, Venerable Knight, Youthful Knight, Ardenvale Tactician again, Knight of the Keep, Beloved Princess, Deafening Silence, that's a decent pull right there. I think that was about a buck at one point. Outflank, Enchanted Carriage, and the rare is Castle Ardenvale. So this is a land, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a plains. You can tap to add one white mana. And for two and two white, tap, create a one on white human creature token. Okay, so just the one rare there and a little tip card about the parts of a turn. Okay, so if I did miss a rare, leave a note in the comments. I think that was the only one. So it does say at least one rare or mythic, so. Let's dig in to blue, see how we go this time round. So there is some element of randomness here. Let's go, we have Unexplained Vision, Scolding Cauldron, okay, so that was in the other one. The, we do have some colourless cards, Enchanted Carriage, Didn't Say Please, Overwhelmed Apprentice, into the story, so tiny, didn't say please again, Merfolk Secret Keeper, Merfolk Secret Keeper again, Lockthwain Gargoyle, Queen of Ice, Wishful Merfolk, Corridor Monitor, Misford River Turtle, Frogify, that's a fun one, Golden Egg, Witching Well, Ventress Paladin, another Queen, Inquisitive Puppet again, another Turtle, an explained vision, wishful merfolk, didn't say please again, moonlit scavengers, so some of this stuff you're getting play sets of just about. Weapon rack, that's a pretty good one. Spinning wheel, moonlit scavengers again, animating fairy, wishful merfolk, mystic sanctuary, and it's funny the foil version of this is worth quite a bit at the time of filming. Hypnotic sprite, Run away together, and the rare, very nice pull, Emery, Lurker of the Lock. Legendary Creature, Merfolk Wizard, 1, 2, for 3. The spell costs 1 less to cast for each artifact you control, and when Emery enters the battlefield, put the top 4 cards of your library into your graveyard. You can tap, choose target artifact card in your graveyard, you may cast that card this turn. Okay, so a bit of milling, and you can get them back again, and the tip card. Okay, so, so far, that is probably the best one. Moving on to black. 
And have you picked these up before? I think they started doing these back when uh, War of the Spark came out. I'm not sure I remember seeing them before then. So, digging in. So it's definitely a quick and easy way to build a deck, although debatable whether you have anything worthwhile because it's mostly uh, commons and uncommons. Next for black we have Reeve Soul Enchanted Carriage, but I will say you are guaranteed to get the colour you want with these. Lost Legion Memory Theft Tempting Witch. That's a little sus, Forever Young, Sir Conrad de Grimm, Henge Walker. Another Forever Young, Festive Funeral, Eye Collector, Cauldron's Gift, Wicked Guardian, Shambling Suit, Foulmire Knight, Barrow Witches, Smitten Swordmaster, Bella the Brawl, Lockthwain Paladin, Reaper of Night, that's pretty cool, another one of the Witches, Swordmaster, Lost Legion again, Lash of Thorns, Sir Conrad again, Jousting Dummy, Witches Cottage, Guardian, Reaper of Night, what is that, Spectre's Shriek, Memory Theft again, Weapon Rack, Lockthwain Paladin, Festive Funeral, and the rare, <laughs> Collatbridge Troll, we have been trolled, Creature Troll, 8-8 eight, eight for 5 mana, and this is pretty cool with the uh, extended art version. As Trample and Haste, when it enters the battlefield, target opponent creates three zero one one white goat creature tokens. Hilarious. Beginning of combat on your turn, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If a player does, tap Clapbridge Troll, you gain three life and you draw a card. I like the artwork on that one with the goats. And the tip card, okay. So I'm going to call that maybe in second place. Moving right along to red, this is probably my favourite, like if I had to pick one of these I'd probably go for red. Red and black are the two colour combos I'm into, the Rakdos. Okay, so what do we have in red? And of course you do get the colourless cards again here. Shambling Suit, Blow Your House Down, Crashing Drawbridge. Seven Dwarves, that's a fun one, so you can have up to seven of those in your deck. Oh, we've got two Red Cap Melee, and we've gone out of focus for some reason. Dwarven Mine, probably where the Seven Dwarves came from. Fling is back, Scorching Dragonfire, Embereth Shieldbreaker, Brimstone Trebuchet, Weaselback Red Cap Creature Goblin Knight, and I guess we know now why I like red. Because that's traditionally the goblin colour, although there are goblins in different colours, I believe. Scorching Dragonfire, Rimrock Knight, Embereth Paladin, Enchanted Carriage, Bloodhaze Wolverine, Red Cap Raiders, Roving Keep, Vargin, Ferocity of the Wilds, Seven Dwarves! Nice, so we've got three of those now. I wonder if that's on purpose. Brimstone Trebuchet, Blow Your House Down, Rimrock Knight, Joust, Thrill of Possibility, Merchant of the Veil, vale, Golden Egg, Dwarven Mine again, so a couple of those, Clockwork Servant, Ogre Errant, Lockthwain Gargoyle, we're getting close now, Crystal Slipper, and the rare is Castle Embereth, so it's a land, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a mountain, you can tap it for red, pay one and two red, tap creatures to control, get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And the tip card again, okay, final pack in green. So from what I recall, I could be wrong, I think these were going for about eight bucks each. So let's dig into this one. I picked these up at Walmart, I believe it was. Okay, final pack. We have Inquisitive Puppet again. He's showing up quite a bit. Sporecap Spider, Garenbrig Carver, Once and Future, Tall as a Beanstalk, Return to Nature, Wildwood Tracker, Garenbrig Carver again. Get some focus there. Shambling Suit, Fell the Pheasant, Gingerbread Cabin. That's where the gingerbread man comes from, I guess. Tall as a beanstalk again. Oak came Adversary, Insatiable Appetite, Wolves Quarry, 
Curious Pair, Rose Thorn Acolyte, Edgewall Innkeeper, Clockwork Servant, Garen Briggs Squire, Gingerbread Cabin, Rose Thorn Acolyte, Garen Briggs Paladin, Scalding Cauldron, Witch's Oven, Insatiable Appetite, Fell the Pheasant, Marley Frider, Kenrith's Transformation, Another Rider, Flaxen Intruder, and it looks like you're not going to get the showcase art in these, just the regular art. True and Veiled Tree Folk. And if you see otherwise, leave a note in the comments. Fierce Witch Stalker, Prophet of the Peak, and the rare is Love Struck Beast. Creature Beast Noble 5-5 five, five for 3. So it has this Heart's Desire, Green, Sorcery Adventure, Create a 1-1 one, one White Human Creature Token. And when he's a creature, Love Struck Beast can't attack unless you control a 1-1 one, one creature. So nice. Synergy between the two parts of the card there and the tip card. Okay, so let's Check this out. So we've got 35 cards here. You're looking at Let's see that's like two and a bit packs You get tons of commons and uncommons, but you are guaranteed the colors you want So that's one good thing, but you do only get one rare if you bought a couple of packs you would actually be getting, you know, a few rares, better chance of getting something you would want. And of course, the showcase cards are where most of the value is here. So these are sort of so-so. Eh, I'm not sure that I would recommend them, but they could be a fun little thing uh, if you just want to throw together some decks. And like they said, you can add 25 lands and you've pretty much got yourself a standard deck there. So. Let me know what you think of these, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.